Then and you guys finished the year 26 and 22. You guys set the record for most points in a game with 194. You also then lead the league in scoring. Just talk about last year and how you thought the team did. Oh, uh, last year we came together real fast together, like we gelled together off the court. So that's why we got much success on on the court. So last year was a pretty good year for the franchise being the first time. So last year was a good experience for all of us up for the minors. You know, when I talked to Coach last year and even this year, he said he didn't really know what your role was going to be last year. And, you know, you came out and you were basically the heart and soul of the team and you ended up starting out there. You know, where does that come from for you? Oh, yeah, I'm from Queens, New York, so that's what we got to do, man. It, it, like, my size and stuff like that don't show, but when I get caught, I believe everything on it, so I try to make everybody follow that, so... I just want to just win the game any means necessary and then go from there. You've been playing basketball your whole life, and I'm sure you've heard that, uh, you know, your size probably doesn't help with that. You know, how have you kind of turned some of those negatives and made it into a positive? Oh, that's what I got to do. All the negative is just my positive. So I just say haters is my motivators. So just once, once that I see people say I'm too small or I got to use my speed to my advantage or... My, my jump shot to my advantage, so I just keep on going. That Nothing makes me feel down, but it just makes me keep going. Now, for you, you went to EKU for college. How much did it mean for you to, you know, kind of stay locally and play semi-pro ball? Oh, yeah, it's pretty, I like it, because Kentucky's a basketball state, and they know everybody, so, and the love out here is crazy, so I'm glad that Coach Keefley took a chance on me for the first time, and, and now I'm a, a part of Pikesville East Kentucky Miners, and I love it. All right, now this year, you guys got some other Kentucky guys. You've got Wayne Turner from UK, and then you've got a former teammate, you know, that you played with on the team. They talk about those two guys, and what is it like, and what have you learned from Wayne? Uh, Wayne Wayne's a cool person, man. I love Wayne, man. He's, he's going to show me the ropes, everything, the, the, the vet moves and stuff, so I'm going to be watching and following his footsteps. And Alonzo Hurd, yes, I play with him at Eastern. Yes, you're going to see an energy, a big fella that runs the floor, block shots, and just to bring a whole different dimension to the minors. How much is that going to change as far as chemistry playing with Alonzo, considering that you played with him at EKU? What's that going to be like? Oh, it's going to be like the same old, same old. Taking roles and a lot of talking. And, and then I'm just glad that um, Coach, once again, um, took him and stuff and see how the big fellas gonna roll this year so the, the expectation expectation for Zo is gonna be a uh, high so it's gonna be, we should be good just like most semi-pro teams a lot of turnover with the team this year but you do have a couple people returning Mike Crane is back Mike Dean is back um, you know, talk about some of the new teammates and how's the chemistry been like so far? Oh, it's straight. Everybody, like the, the, the returners, Crane and Dean, we already know how they play and stuff. So it was just me getting to know the rest of them. Like Galen Young, he's going to be our vo he's gonna be our vocal and stuff for our team. You know, he had experience in the NBA and the CBA player of the year. So he's going to, then we got Jermaine Blackburn, high energy guy. He run the floor, could shoot. He's sort of like Josh Pace, you know what I mean? So we, we picked up a, a role in there. Um, then we got Buck, energy guy. He gonna crash boards and stuff. Then we got Will, he's a great scorer. Then we got um, um, Foots, he's, he's from um, Florida, I mean, Miami. He's a high energy, you watch out guys, I'm telling you, he flies, so. Is good, we're going to have a good team. We should have a, a great team, great season. As far as goals, you talk about having a great season. What are some of the goals you have set for the team this year? And what are some of the goals that the team has collectively? You know, everybody's goal is I'm trying to get that CBA championship. That's all I need. I got one in JUCO. I got one in um, on my OVC. So I just need the CBA. That's my goal right there. And the goal just gel together as, as quick as possible and then just go from there. Now... CBA only has four teams in it this year, so they came up with a role to start playing some ABA teams. You've played in a couple games already. What has that been like so far, and uh, how do you feel about that new role about playing ABA teams? The role of basketball is basketball, right? But it's just the different rules and stuff like that. That's but, um, basically it. But, you no, know, you know, basketball players is going to be players. Basketball is going to be basketball. I'm glad we're still playing. That's all that counts, man, for real. I got to ask you about one player that's on the team this year. 
Last year, you guys had a big man, Boo Jackson, who you know dropped 20 points a game, 10, 15 rebounds a game. How does Joe Buck compare to Boo Jackson? Oh, they are totally different <laughs> ball, totally different um, players, man. Buck is gonna hustle, hustle. Boo, Boo Jackson hustle and stuff like that, and he could he could score and stuff. But Buck, Joe Buck, man, he gives it all his all he got, 24 seven. He's gonna dive into the crowd. He's gonna jump. He's gonna score. He's gonna scream. So they are totally different players, man. I'm looking forward to keep on playing with Joe. I tell you what, any, any of the fans out there that's got a chance to meet uh, uh, Jason Derrick knows, or uh, yeah, Jason they get, knows <laughs> that uh, uh, he's a real uh, person. He's authentic, and the bottom line is, Derrick, that's what you love about him is that he's just who he is, and you can't ask for a better teammate, a better person on and off the floor. He spends so much time with the kids mm -hmm. and people that just want to sign autographs, and he just spends time with them. He's an authentic person. I absolutely love him. He's been a great, great member of this organization for the last two years now. Other than having Wayne Turner on the team, him being one of the returners, kind of one of the vocal guys of the uh, the other guys that returned, he's kind of the face on and off the court, I guess you could call him. Yeah, I would say he's probably one of the more popular uh, players. And, he, hey, I'll tell you what, he's uh, doing a heck of a job uh, comboing with Wayne at the point guard. All right, Coach, but that will do it for the third quarter of the Coach Keith Lee Show. But when we return, we will hear from the fans of the East Kentucky Miners in our long-distance connection.